Okay, so now we've brought in some selects from our media browser um, and we've taken in some of the red stuff, we've taken in some of the Panasonic stuff, uh, we'll be bringing in the Canon footage cutaways in just a moment, but um, if we take a little look through, now we can see that we are getting a little bit closer to what our concept is going to be. So, you know, the task ahead of us now is to come in, check out to see whether we uh, can do the quick rig removal here on the sides and clean that up uh, without too much hassle. Um, and also do a bit of the, the reframing and some of the, the other cutaway stuff there. So the reason this is uh, important to, to check out now is that when we're filming, uh, that's that's when we've got the most sort of flexibility on uh, on how things can be changed and we'll, we'll know what we need to uh, to get done at this point it's a lot easier when everything's set up to make uh, to make those changes and one of the first things I want to do is actually check out for for white balance here so before we do any of the clean plate stuff which we'll do in a moment is just check out for white balance you know the camera white balance is actually quite crucial that we get that at least relatively in the ballpark um, especially if we're working with uh, some of the more compressed formats like DSLR stuff, you know, where we just don't have the, uh, the color information to pull it back. So if we check out, actually let's come back into our media browser, check out some of the 5D stuff here in the B camera. You know, a lot of this is very far out. So that's going to be extremely, uh, extremely tricky to uh, to sort out. So it's actually going to be quite tricky to sort out in post, really, just because if we try and do a regular sort of white balance here, there's not a lot of color information contained in the H.264 stuff out of uh, out of the Canon. So we're going to be compromising a lot on some of the quality we've got going on there. Uh, when it comes to to the red format though this we do have a whole lot more flexibility going on if I come in and just right click um, I've got the regular sort of modify interpret footage and, and things like that that we can go to if, if Premiere hasn't imported stuff in uh, correctly which is very rare but we've also got the source settings here now what the source settings do is it allows us to go right the way back to um, to the raw file and we've got a whole lot more latitude here dealing with this as a raw file than if we had it already uh, in a sort of uh, final compressed format, even if it's sort of compressed to uh, XD cam or AVC HD. We do have things like being able to just come in with the white balance and just bring that out. So we can start to design a bit more of the, uh, the look at this stage. We can also get to choose, you know, very red specific stuff like uh, coming in, changing the, the color space. Um, and if you go to labs.adobe.com, you can even get the updated or color science changes that the Red have implemented. It also means we can deal with exposure and contrast uh, a whole lot easier right here because we're not sort of compromising on any of the, the data at this stage at all. Uh, we're just really checking out how we're processing that raw stuff up. 